Welcome to Truth, Money, and Freedom. Today is Saturday, March 23rd, 2019, and there's a story here I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Missouri Senate bans all federal gun control laws and proposed bill. And uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will read parts of it to you. It's a very interesting bill. Uh, Missouri may have just made uh, the most monumental step for, uh, for freedom and individual liberty since the signing of the Bill of Rights. In an upcoming vote by Missouri's state Senate, the state is expected to pass a bill that would nullify all federal gun laws and regulations and make enforcement of those laws by federal officers within the, United, or within the state of Missouri a criminal offense. Uh, Republicans control both the U.S. Senate seats and more than two-thirds of the seats in both the Missouri House and Senate. And uh, it's it's an interesting bill here that basically nullifies every single law coming forth from the federal government, from the Senate, you know, or anything that they try to pass, you know, basically on the federal level. Uh, let me read a little bit more to you. A stipulation of the newly bill uh, states... Uh, and the bill has been passed, by the way, I believe. It's just not been signed into law by the governor. So that's an important thing, too. So let me say that, you know, up front. Okay, it reads as follows. All federal acts, laws, executive orders, administrative orders, court orders, rules, and regulations, whether past, present, or future, uh, which infringe on the people's right to keep and bear arms as guaranteed by the Second Amendment of the United States and Section 23 of the Missouri Constitution, shall be invalid in this state um, shall not be recognized by this state shall not, uh, shall be specifically rejected by this state and shall be considered null and void you know basically of no effect in this state and now that's pretty strong language here uh, it's actually in the bill written that way it, it gets even more interesting uh, you can read the breakdowns here I'll link the article below like I always do um, but um, it says here law enforcement is not happy about it, Missouri law enforcement, because they did make money off of um, uh, basically people not reporting stolen firearms and that sort of thing. Um, uh, will it hold up in court? Um, they say yes. The bill's main provisioning calling on the entire state to cease enforcing federal gun control measures stands on solid legal ground under the anti uh, commandeering doctrine um, so basically they think they've got that covered where it literally won't go to the Supreme Court um, but it is interesting um, it's not yet signed by the governor at this time but this is um, something I think that um, I think you guys should be aware of here because <clears throat> with the, pardon me with our current uh, Senate with our current House and our current president, a lot of gun laws are in question. And as um, more and more incidents happen, um, they try to take away guns from citizens. And, you know, knowing, of course, you know, common sense, libertarian common sense, is the gun did not commit the crime. The person holding the gun, the gun actually committed the crime. And this is something that we have a very difficult time, I think, um, debating about in our U.S. you know, legislature. Um, so there are lobbying groups, you know, to help keep and preserve the right to bear arms. Um, there are people constantly trying to take it away. There are constantly new bills um, to take, you know, your rights away uh, as far as gun ownership goes a piece at a time and uh, happening from the U.S. government. And that's something that really is disturbing because it's it's basically incrementalism you know they're slowly taking away you know um, you know if magazines that can hold over seven bullets or you know whatever it is uh, they're really trying to get rid of AR-15s uh, I've not heard so much about AR-10s but AR-15s because those um, tend to get used I think in in uh, you know all kinds of shooting incidents but uh, Missouri I think is taking a completely different approach to it for a different reason. Two years ago, in the state of Missouri, which I live, um, it became legal for for Missouri citizens to actually conceal carry without a permit. And 
the left and the media, you know, basically made it sound like it's going to be the Wild West in Missouri. People will be shooting each other in the streets all the time. Um, you know, bar fights would, you know, end up going into people shooting each other. And, you know, it just, you know, any kind of, you know, machination you can come up with, you know, was probably envisioned and spoken about in the media and in the newspapers. As it turns out, Missouri crime has gone down significantly since this new concealed carry law. In fact, it's common, and it's not something I like to talk about, but it's common that if someone tries to hold up a convenience store, it is common for that person to get killed um, by the clerk at the convenience store who happens to be a concealed carry holder. So people who want to literally uh, break in and, you know, enter and, and, um, uh, hold up convenience stores, restaurants, you know, fast food restaurants, they have to really think hard before they do it because anyone could be carrying a weapon, including people behind the counter. Um, so uh, as a result of this, crime has actually decreased. Uh, I'll get the numbers for you in a future podcast. After this, I want to see first if this actually gets signed into a law and then I can go through all the stats with you guys. But um, but it is uh, something that I'm actually qu- kind of proud of uh, this uh, from a libertarian perspective, uh, actually making sure people do have the right to bear arms, can carry high capacity magazines. Um, that shouldn't be taken away by your government. Uh, and remember now, the Constitution of the United States says our rights are given to us by our creator. Now, whether you believe in God or not, um, that was a very smart thing for the founding fathers to do. Because if your rights are given to you by your creator, then your government can't take them away. And if you let your government take them away, you'll have to uh, shed a lot of blood to get them back again, just like our founding fathers and you know generations before us. So we really shouldn't give up our freedom so easily. Uh, but that's all I have to say on this right now. I just wanted to bring this story to your attention. It's, again, I'll link it below. And thank you very much for spending a few minutes with me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Mm-hmm.